Hey, I'm Andrea Holmes, and I wanted to show you how I package my small paintings to be shipped out. Um, so these are six by sixes. Okay, so the supplies that you'll need are a box. Sometimes I'll reuse a box, or I do have ones that I purchased, but I'll always try to use these first. When you're picking the right box, if your art is, for me, it was a six inch by six inch piece of art, you always wanna have two inches on each side of your package or of your piece of artwork um, for the box so that if something bangs into it, uh, it's not gonna get punctured or broken. So if that mine is a six by six, so we have two inches and two inches over here that I want for my box, then I know two plus two plus six is 10 inches by 10 inches. So I know I want my box to be at least 10 by 10 inches, and that's what I picked, but it can be bigger than that. But I wouldn't recommend going any smaller. Um, just to protect your box from things banging into it, it'll give it some room to not get hurt. We wanna protect our babies, okay? Uh, I also save bubble wrap or just brown paper. Um, newspaper works for packaging inside, making sure stuff doesn't move around. You'll need tape. Okay, box is ready to go. So these are hardwood canvases and if I was doing a, an actual canvas that could be pushed into or punctured, I would put a piece of cardboard on the front of it and I would usually make it just a little bit bigger than the actual painting. And that just protects it from getting punctured or anything hitting it. Um, but since these are hard, I don't have to do that. So in my packages, I like to include my business card and like a little thing about me. And then you can just always write something to your customers. Let them know you care. Okay, so I like to wrap them up. And then I'll put them in some bubble wrap. My promotional material. I forgot to mention that I put brown paper down first. In the box. And you want to tuck it down in the side. Like so. doesn't move around. So that means it's nice and snug, isn't gonna get beat up. And it's ready to go.